फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट कैफ्यूले स्पॉट्स ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज कैफ्यूले मैक्यूल्स इन शॉर्ट दे रिटर्न एज सी ए एल एम नो वॉट इज कैफ्यूले कैफ्यूले बेसिकली स्टैंड फॉर कॉफी कलर्ड द वर्ड कैफ्यूले वेन यू गो टू अ कॉफी शॉप यू ऑर्डर आइदर अ कैपुचिनो और अ कैफे लाटे कैफे लाटे इन फ्रेंच इज नोन एज कैफे ओले सो द नेक्स्ट टाइम यू गो एंड ऑर्डर कैफे लाटे डोंट से कैफे लाटे ट्राई टू ऑर्डर कैफे ओले साउंड गुड but from entrance point of view from medicine point of view pediatrics point of view cafe au lait is a very important lesion they are coffee colored macules which are a hallmark of neurofibromatosis they can be seen in other conditions as well if i have to show you a picture of multiple cafe au lait macules in a neurofibromatosis child it will look something like this if you see carefully you will find that there are variable sized small some large coffee colored lesions which are present they are present in this patient they are all irregularly shaped they are all uh, brownish colored and they are all macular lesions so what are the things that you should know cafe au lait spots they are brown colored also called as coffee colored coffee colored macules which are well defined variable in size and distributed all over the body they can be pre present on the photo exposed parts also so sun exposed parts may be ho sakte hain and they can occur on non photo exposed parts as well so they can be present anywhere can cafe au lait spots can be seen in normal people also yes 1 2 3 cafe au lait spots or 1 2 3 cafe au lait macules can be seen even in normal children they can be seen even in normal children however multiple cafe au lait spots are usually indicator of some underlying condition multiple we usually say uh in adults 4 to 6 we say in case of children because it can be normally present the actual number we take these days is 6 or more 3 to 6 it remains variable so usually it indicates a underlying condition if you do histopathology on histology you will find that these lesions where these macules these hyperpigmented cafe au lait macules are present there is increase in the number of melanocytes and increase in the melanin deposition increase in melanin deposition in the epidermis but no enlargement of rete ridges are seen there is no enlargement of these rete ridges enlargement of rete ridges is a diagnostic hallmark histological finding of lenti genes which we will see in some time so this point helps you on histology in ruling out cafe au lait spots from lenti genes so what are the conditions common conditions where these cafe au lait spots can be seen there is a very detailed described table in nelson so the, the whole table is not needed what we need to know is what are the common conditions in which cafe au lait macules can be seen in the list which i am discussing i have combined nelson 21st edition table of nelson 20th edition and similar tables given in other pediatric texts so first of all we have neurofibromatosis 1 and 2 the second common disorder associated with uh, cafe au lait macules is mccun albright syndrome the third common is uh, cowden syndrome another common syndrome is ring chromosome syndrome remember that these four or five group of conditions they have a strong association with multiple cafe au lait macules nelson calls them as having strong association then we have other common disorders which include russell silver syndrome ataxia telangiectasia basal cell nevus syndrome fanconi anemia bloom syndrome 
शेडिया घिगैशी सिंड्रोम ट्यूब्रस क्लिरोसिस मैफूशी सिंड्रोम गोचस डिजीज हंटर सिंड्रोम एंड टर्नर सिंड्रोम स्कैफेले मैक्यूल्स कैन समटाइम्स बी सीन इन दीज कंडीशन एंड देर इज अ वीक एसोसिएशन विद दीज कंडीशन सो क्वेश्चन कैन आस्क यू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर एसोसिएटेड विद कैफेट स्पॉट्स और ऑल ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कैन बी सीन एसोसिएटेड विद कैफेले मैक्यूल्स एक्सेप्ट दे कैन आस्क लाइक दिस दे कैन आस्क स्ट्रॉन्ग एसोसिएशन इज सीन विद विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग और वीक एसोसिएशन इज सीन विद ऑल ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एक्सेप्ट this type of questions can also be asked in super specialty exam so this table based list which is given in nelson is very important and it is a potential mcq they can put a question like this look at this picture and tell the likely strong associations and that is uh, so you need to identify this is kefele mcql and then you need to go back to to the list and answer accordingly now there is a mcq point here that additionally we need to remember that is related to kefele mccules in mccun albright syndrome the kefele mccules lesions in mccun albright syndrome are usually different from what you see in other conditions they are also brown colored they are also uh, you know well defined and uh, occurring all over the body but they are larger in size first of all there will be massively enlarged in size secondly they will be irregular shape usually kefele macules in other conditions have a regular border they will have a irregular border third they will be asymmetrical asymmetrical very important they are usually restricted to one side of the body and the side on which they are affected remember that macune albright syndrome also has a bony condition called as hyperostotic bony dysplasia so the side on which these lesions are present there will be extensive bony lesions on the same side where these cafeole macules are present so these three points are very important look at this picture can you see that large irregularly shaped kefele macules are present on one side of the body the other side is absolutely fine here no macules can be seen whereas extensive large macules can be seen on this side so if question asks you in a macune albright syndrome child look at this picture and tell pathological fractures will be common on which side because these lesions are present on the left side so left sided structures will have higher degree of uh, osteotic dysplasia and they will have a higher risk of developing pathological fractures so this is a very important uh, conceptual point for mcqs that you need to remember such questions are not asked usually in your uh, uh, neat pg level but such kind of questions are very frequently asked in super specialty central institute exams and uh, nobody reads these syndromes in such detail so my purpose is to give you an insight into Uh, the way a particular point can be asked in questions as well so this is all regarding cafeole macules